Legislative Update by Aaron McConnell, Government Relations Specialist. A shoulder-length thumbnail photo of Aaron McConnell accompanies her legislative update. The photo reveals Aaron as a younger-looking lady with light-colored hair, a pronounced smile, and wearing the same button-down shirt worn by other BVA headquarters staff members in the small photos accompanying their written columns. The background of the photo consists of a wooden pillar. In the color photo, the shirts would be blue with the red and blue BVA logo and name appearing on the left breast. In the black and white print version of the bulletin, the shirts become a dark gray, but the logo is still clearly visible. There is no photo caption. The text of Aaron's update begins as follows. It has been a momentous year for BVA in the 116th Congress. Our final legislative focus was S-3587, the Department of Veterans Affairs Website Accessibility Act of 2019. This bill was passed by the House of Representatives on November 16. At press time, it was on its way to the White House for a presidential signing. With the passage earlier this summer of H.R. 3504, the Ryan Coolds and Paul Benny Specially Adaptive Housing Improvement Act of 2019, and H.R. 4920, the VA Contracting Preference Consistency Act, we successfully advocated for the passage of three bills in 2020 that will notably enhance the lives of blinded and visually impaired veterans, a veritable legislative trifecta. S-3587 ensures that VA websites are compliant with Section 508 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. It requires that VA report to Congress within 180 days on the accessibility of their websites, web-based applications, files, and kiosks located at VA medical facilities. Once this study is completed, VA will have 90 days to bring a list of the inaccessible websites to Congress and develop a plan to bring those sites into compliance with Section 508 standards. The VA Secretary will be required to report any barriers to compliance that the Department is experiencing, including barriers related to vacant employment positions. The bipartisan effort to pass this legislation will undoubtedly improve the experiences of blinded and visually impaired veterans with VA and its web pages. With VA's push for electronic check-ins and online patient portals, it is vital that these issues be addressed now, especially with implementation of the new Electronic Health Records Modernization System. The barriers to blinded veteran access to these websites has, in the past, deprived them of crucial information on earned benefits. Our veterans have encountered obstacles to care that other veterans have not had to experience. We thank Senator Bob Casey, Democrat from Pennsylvania, for recognizing the need and for introducing this legislation, as well as Senate Committee Chairman Jerry Moran, Republican from Kansas, for co-sponsoring it. BVA also thanks Representative Elaine Luria, Democrat from Virginia, District 2, for championing the House Companion Bill, H.R. 1199. We are grateful for the tireless advocacy demonstrated of still others on Capitol Hill who have spoken and voted on behalf of blinded veterans and their families. COVID-19 made this legislative session an especially tumultuous one overall. We struggled alongside other advocacy groups to adapt to the new world of virtual meetings and hearings. Organizations were unable to meet with members of Congress and staffers face-to-face, which required us to navigate an ever-changing legislative schedule. In addition, the intense focus of Congress on the pandemic, the looming elections, and other distractions caused other important pieces of legislation to fall by the wayside. BVA's government relations team is looking forward to the 117th Congress. We are already compiling a list of legislative priorities for the upcoming year. We look forward to working with new members and staffs on Capitol Hill on issues that will make life better for blinded veterans everywhere.